So real quick before I start this video, um, when I first started doing this segment of my channel, um, the game that I'm about to look at, it was, it's kind of like, it was kind of like the main game that inspired it. So like the trailer originally came out back in August, but like the first time I started doing these trailer lookups was until like mid December, and I already and I had already came up with something for that football game that came out. So um, I felt like I missed the boat on this. But one but um one of my promises for this year was uh, when I hear about things that come out, I wanted to be on top of them like as soon as I hear about them, rather than like. A few weeks or a few months after, so for the most part, I've been keeping up with that. But you know, a few things still slip through now and then. But I'm debuting this new section on my site. Well, actually, this is actually the old section. I'm giving it, but I finally got a name for it. So, what better way to kick it off than with the game that inspired it? So, with no further ado, this is my new section. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Enjoy. Welcome, Ken Folk, to the first edition of the Shark Tank, Pump It or Dump It. We take a trailer for an upcoming game or a demo, hoist it in a shark cage, submit it over a tank, we take a look at the trailer, we take a look at the demo, we take a look at the developer, we take a look at their past record, we judge the level of hype, we check out all the information we're being presented with, and we determine whether we pump it into our Steam wish list or whatever, or your Xbox wish list or your Nintendo Switch wish list or whatever, or do we dump it into the Shark Tank and let the sharks chew that shit up? Are we gonna buy it? Are we gonna buy it on day one? Are we gonna wait till it, till it goes on sale? Or are we just gonna pass on it? So anyway, this game that we're about to look at, um, if you notice, uh, real quick, um, if you think about the Chinese gaming market, then, oh, the first thing that usually comes to mind is stuff like Tencent and all their cheap knockoffs and shit. But recently, there's been a um, there's been a trend in developers who have been trying to um, give Chinese media a new image, and not just in gaming, but in movies and music and stuff. You know, trying to really see, trying to really present a new face on when it comes to Chinese gaming. We saw this um, with the uh, Bright Memory game um, that's done by one developer using the Unreal 4 engine. And it's an awesome mix of uh, both first person shooting gameplay and Devil May Cry style action. And now we've got, and um, now there's this game we're about to look at Black Myth Son of Wukong. Um, this was that trailer that came out back in, back last August, had those breathtaking graphics, had some awesome gameplay looking action. So, um,. And really, like I said at the beginning, um, I all this is, these are the type of games I like to look at, like not necessarily the big AAA releases. Although some might consider this a AAA release, but um, I feel like it's more like an indie that has a lot of juice behind it. So we're gonna take a look at this new trailer that they put out for the year, The Ox, and we're gonna and um, we're gonna get my impressions on it. So let's hop into it. my page. Thought I had it up, but obviously I don't. But here it is. Black Myth Wukong Official Trade. Let's check it out. You can tell these are this is a high level graphics. I think this is all in game footage. I might be wrong. Now this is definitely in game footage. Is 
Not magic, you change forms, you got the usual combos and stuff. You got these bizarre looking creatures, so I'm get I'm definitely getting like a Dark Souls vibe from it. You know what? This thing might be too loud. But like I said, I, I, I'm definitely getting a Dark Souls vibe from it. Where it's all about dodging and stuff, encountering and pairing. He's got magic. He can change. He can change form. He's got what? There's weapon combat. He just beat a rat. So now here's the ox. Cause it's the year of the ox, of course. Be strong like a bull. Okay, so we got a bull. Black myth Wukong. The video is specially produced for celebrating the year of the ox does not represent the actual plot. Okay. Innovative science. So it's also done with Unreal Engine. Game science, interactive technology, rights reserve, heyshua.com. Okay, not bad. So, um. So it it doesn't represent the game's plot, but that is footage from Endgame, I believe. Now I think a few months back, like when the, when the um, trailer first came out, the developer had actually apologized because the um, because like the uh, 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 because he felt like the trailer wasn't up to standards, even though it was actually beautiful looking. I mean, it, um, it stood up to a lot of games that are out. So this is Black Myth Wukong. Um, let's me see. So what was their website again? Um, let me pause it. So I got there. H e i s h e n h u a dot com. H e n h u a dot com. So the hype level is definitely amazing. So this site is in Chinese, so I don't know Chinese, but definitely they're showing a lot of stuff. So here, so um, here's some more footage from the game. We'll come up. Or if I can translate it. Here it is. Home introduction, audio visual station. Follow us, common problem. This is the first exposure demo video. Okay, here it is. So this is the one we just watched. So if you notice, then this is so um I'm not sure if you noticed, but like this is actually based on the famous myth, Journey to the West, which um which is like which a lot of different games and animes are um inspired take their inspiration from everything from Dragon Ball Z to um Enslaved Odyssey from the West. So let's see the um set photo on the path for warning more important than reaching the Ling Shan. The content industry is a struggling industry because the content person can never restrain for expressing his true self. In hundred generals, why are there so many generals who look like monsters? In the art of red tie, why is the most important resource called Ling Yan? Most players may not know the reason, but we always know. And so, how can you forget about Journey to the West? How can you forget the regrets 500 years ago? May you go through 1999 and 81 hardships and come back to be the only stone. In the most sincere way, compose a super hero epic of the East. The name is Wukong, not just monkeys. The monkey is the protagonist, but it's far from the whole story. In Journey to the West, there are too many intriguing characters, dialogues, or pondering 
and even thoughtful plots behind the appearance of big brother fighting monsters. There are sly goblins, brutal ghosts, passionate stars, cowardly gods. Who are they? What is their motivation? What is their fear and love? Kindness and hatred, impenetrable obsession, and daily life picture. Our ambition is not just to reshape the protagonist. Instead, it uses top-notch pictures, rich details, immersive combat experience, and ample drama ye. Go to our hearts that there has been a reduction of Oriental fantasy world. She is so vast, wild, romantic, full of imagination and mystery, and extremely authentic. Black Myth Wutong is the first serious construction of this ultimate virtual world construction project. This is, of course, um, difficult. Fortunately, we are past the age of quick success. The Dark Knight gave me a golden eye. I want to use it to see through fate. So you're very ambitious about the project. As long as this flag is there, the soul of the freedom of the monster race is here. Many years ago, on April Fool's Day, we announced we would make a real masterpiece of the console. At the barbecue saws more years ago, we quarreled fiercely about why Sun Wukong went to the Buddha hood. In a trance, six years have passed, once again, 12 years have passed. After all, I still didn't get it back. Later, there were many nights, and we worked overtime until we worked unconscious. We always asked ourselves half jokingly, what is the unique significance of the Game Science Company? Or does each product we develop make the world a little more fun? Have stories, characters, and gameplay that we that we create mo ever move people's hearts? Frankly speaking, not sure. We just believe that only if we impress ourselves and then impress similar people, it is narrow gate worthy. Black Myth Wu Kong is a standalone action and role playing game with a theme of Journey to the West. There is no other definition. It's prepared by Game Science and update my answer. I hope you like it. Okay. So you, got, so you can check out screenshots, their wallpapers, even pictures. So you definitely got a unique look and style in the gameplay. Why did we choose this time to release the early video? Okay. We're not brought to sell DLC and non-numerical in-app purchase in the future. We won't roll out, but... Um, PC plus all mainstream host platforms and cloud platform that can run in games smoothly are not excluded. So we're concentrating on making sure that the single player works great, and I think that's an important thing. Recruiting positions. So we're hiring new positions. Um, you can follow us on WeChat. Obviously, they don't have the um, um, obviously they don't have the uh, Instagram and stuff because they're because they got Chinese social media. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a very ambitious project, and it's hard not to be impressed by what we're seeing so far. Of course, um, the gameplay looks full. I mean, looking at it is one thing always, but um, being able to play and see it in action. So, if you look for a YouTube page, then um. It's got a release date in 2023, so they're gonna take. So they're definitely gonna take their time. And to me, that's probably the best for the company uh, instead of like trying to rush and have something out. And I like, hopefully they'll be releasing more of these little updates on the way. Um, I'm definitely very impressed by what I'm seeing so far. Um, of course, my main thing is like if the gameplay is gonna look as good as we're showing, but they're already showing a lot. So for this first edition of uh, Puppet or Dump It. I think, um, as far as the hype, hype level is concerned, I am going to give it a, hmm, we give it a, uh, B, B plus, um, just because, um, C is one thing, but being able to play it is, is another, and, um, and they're definitely ambitious, and they're definitely humble about their creation, so, um, I don't, ex I don't expect a whole lot of it, like, when they're this early in development. Uh, we don't know what system is going to be for. I presume it's going to be on PC and all current next-gen systems. Um, maybe Stadia if they're not dead by then. Um, but yeah, definitely a um, get, definitely a game we should pump it. Something I'm definitely going to keep my eye on going forward. So as far as this first edition of Shark Tank, we're going to pump it. That is Black Myth Wukong. So, um, let me know what you think about it. Let me know how you like the, um, intro. Let me know how you like the intro. And, um, 
First of all, if you know of an up a um, upcoming game that has a demo out or a trailer that's not that's that's we're not checking for triple A stuff, but like indie or just something that's different off the beaten path, let me know in the comments. Um, let me know on Twitter, and I'm also starting up the Discord pretty soon, so um, check that out too. Also, if you like what you just saw, hit that subscribe button, click the little bell icon. That way, you'll know when I'm gonna. Um, when I put out a new video, I know a lot of you've been watching these videos and a lot of you've been digging them, but only a handful of you have been are subscribed. So if you subscribe, that helps me out. That helps me come up, um, get bigger and bigger, and that also helps you out because you get to be the first to see the new stuff that I'm coming out. Because I am dropping some new stuff this week. Um, also, make sure you follow me on Twitter and join me on Twitch every night around 10 p.m. Unless I say otherwise. If you want to see game streams. Um, if you like, and again, if you like what you saw, click the thumbs up icon and let me know what you think in the comments. Um, also, coming, so uh, I got another Shark Tank coming up um, later on this week. It'll be, um, it'll be um, you're probably watching this on either on Thursday, so I'll probably have this next one coming up on um, fr on either Friday or Saturday. Also, I have a new episode of Gaming Archaeology. Um, I'm taking a look at the class at the uh, semi-classic arcade fighter Bloodstorm, as well as the company behind it and um, incredible technology. So if you if you're like if you like those old school 90s fighting games, you're definitely not gonna want to mess it. Again, like, subscribe, comment, and until next time, happy almost Friday and peace 51,000 G, Ken folk. <laughs>